Now that we have sort of an intuitive feel for how to identify these different lines, let's take a look at example A. Here we need to identify whether they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. And this tells us that one line passes through the points 2, 11, and negative 1, 2. So we're going to use my graph here. We're going to make sure we're going to set these at 2 each. So this is 2 and 4 and 6 and so on. So we have our first point at 2, 11. So it's just going to be one dash over here. And then we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. So we have a point right about here at 2, 11. And then we have another point at negative 1, 2. So there's another point right about here. We can really quickly sketch that line in there. Looks something like that. And this point was negative 1, 2. Okay, and then our other point goes through, or other line, I'm sorry, goes through 0, negative 4, so right there. And then negative 2, negative 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So it goes through right there. I'll sketch that in real quick here and here those look like they might be parallel but we need to identify for sure so the easiest way to do that um, we mark these 0, negative 4 and negative 2, negative 10 the easiest way to identify whether they're really parallel or not is just check their slopes so this one here goes from 0 to negative 2 so it's x change is negative 2 and its y change goes from negative 4 to negative 10 so it goes down 6 so we have negative 6 over negative 2 which means this one has a slope of 3 the other one goes from positive 2 back to negative 1 so it has an x change of negative 3 and then a y change we go from 11 down to 2 so it has a y change of negative 9. Negative 9 over negative 3 is also m equals 3. So we can tell for sure these two lines are indeed parallel. Okay, our last example here gives us the points 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, and negative 2, negative 2, negative 2 negative 2, negative 2. So we have a line, I'll just sort of sketch it here this time, a little like that. And then 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And negative 4, no, positive 4, negative 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that line goes down something like this. Sorry, it's not very straight. Um, 5, 5, and 4, negative 6. So this line here has a slope of negative 3 back to, um, positive 3 back to negative 2, x change of negative 5, 1 down to negative 2, y change of negative 3. So this one is 3 fifths. Whoa, bad 5. Fifths, there we go. And this one is, has an x change from 5 back over to 4, so an x change of 1, and a y change from 5 clear down to negative 6, so a y change of negative 11. So this one is a slope of negative 11. So these two slopes, 3 fifths and negative 11, are neither inverses nor the same, so these two lines are skew.